Hi, I'm Jeffrey Morgenthaler from Pacific Standard in Portland, Oregon, and today I want to talk about two-to-one syrups. We use two-to-one uh, simple syrup for all of our uh, cocktails that call for simple syrup. Two parts sugar to one part, uh, let's say water, or in this case, pineapple. It's important for us to have consistency across all of our syrups. Uh, so that they have the exact same amount of sugar, so that if we need to substitute anything, uh, we can do so and we know that the syrup ratios are exactly the same. Perfect example is uh, our Old Fashioned, uh, calls for a teaspoon and a half of two to one simple syrup. If I wanted to make you say a rum Old Fashioned with a pineapple syrup, I can grab that bottle of pineapple syrup that is also two to one, and make it in the exact same proportions. And it's gonna taste pretty much exactly the same in terms of sweetness. The problem with making two to one syrups out of fruit juices is they already contain some sugar. So uh, unlike water, I can't just weigh out two parts sugar, one part water by weight, combine them on the stove and have a perfect two to one simple syrup. If I were to do that by weight, this already contains uh, so many grams of sugar. A couple years ago, I came up with uh, what I call the universal syrup calculator. It's on my website, it's a spreadsheet, and I'm gonna show you how it works. So I'm gonna start with some pineapple juice, and I'm gonna pour it straight into this saucepan. I'm also gonna weigh it in grams. Uh, this is gonna be important. So I'll just pour a measure of pineapple juice in here. There we go. So I got 800 grams of pineapple juice in here. I'm gonna plug that into the spreadsheet. Step one is weigh your juice in grams and enter it here. So I'm gonna enter 800 grams. Uh, the next thing we have to do is measure the bricks of our uh, juice. Bricks is a measurement of sugar content in terms of uh, uh, percentage. So I use this uh, optical refractometer and I'm just gonna put a couple drops on the plate here and look through and take a reading and I can see 12.5% sugar. So I'm gonna enter that into step two, 12.5. The spreadsheet is gonna calculate uh, exactly how much white sugar I need to add to get this to a perfect two to one uh, syrup. It is telling me for a two to one that I need 1300 grams of sugar. I've got a separate container here just in case I go over, I like to weigh it separately from the pineapple juice. Uh, once I know that I've got exactly 1300 grams here, then I'll pour it into the pineapple juice. So. Pour that sugar in. Pineapple juice, and I'm just gonna heat it up on the stove. And I'm heating this over low. I don't want to boil it. I just want to dissolve the sugar. All right, so now that this has been uh, heated and stirred until the uh, sugar's dissolved, we have this beautiful, uh, rich two to one pineapple syrup that uh, I'm just going to ladle into these pint containers and we store it in the freezer and it will last uh, pretty much indefinitely in the freezer. Uh, defrost really quickly and when we need it uh, before service, we just pull it out of the freezer, let it thaw for maybe half an hour, and put it in squeeze bottles, label and date it, and we're ready to go. And that's, uh, that's our two to one pineapple syrup. At the bar, uh, this two to one pineapple syrup goes into one of our favorite non-alcoholic uh, cocktails, the Tiger Bomb. Okay, so now that we've got our pineapple syrup made, uh, we're gonna assemble this cocktail the uh, Tiger Bomb. And what we're gonna do is, I've got that uh, non-alcoholic spirit mix. So this is two ounces of our, our house uh, non-alcoholic spirit, and then three quarters of an ounce of that delicious Wilderton Luster. Pre-prepared, uh, just makes things a little bit faster. We're a pretty high volume bar, so uh, anything that we can do to speed up service uh, ends up being better for our guests. So two and three quarters of an ounce of this mix, one full ounce of lime juice, and another full ounce of that two to one pineapple syrup we just made. 
And here we go. Strain that. Finish this with some beautiful pebble ice. Get a pretty paper straw in there and a lime garnish. And that is the Tiger Bomb.